In this video, what I want to do is just go through a basic example of graphing a parabola step by step. Now, the first thing I recognize here is this is already in standard form, which is amazing because that's going to make our life so much easier, right? Usually our first step when it's not in standard form is to get in standard form. But now we have it in standard form, let's work through this step by step. So the first thing I still want you to do though is write out what the standard form is. Remember, we have a standard form for a horizontal opening as well as a vertical opening. So how do I know what the opening is for this equation just as it's written? That all comes into what is squared. So notice that the y is squared. So therefore, the standard equation is going to look like this. Okay, so this is all super important because we want to make sure whenever we start to graph or start identifying the parts that our squared term is isolated, which in this case you can see that it is, and then also that I've factored out this 4p, this value, right? And you can see that that is the case as well. Those are two little mistakes that a lot of times students will forget once they start graphing in there, all right? So the first step is to identify your standard equation, okay? And make sure obviously it's already in standard form, but we didn't have to worry about it in this case. Now the next step that we're gonna wanna do is identify the vertex. Now remember the vertex is going to be h comma k. So h is always with x, k is always with y. h is always with x, k is always with y. I'll say it one more time so you don't forget it. h is always with x, k is always with y. So in this case, you can see that my h here is going to be a four and my k is going to be an eight. Remember, it's x opposite of h, um, x opposite of k. So that, that x, if you can kind of put parentheses around this h and the k, you recognize those are actually going to be your standalone values. So now what we can do is I go ahead and identify what my value of p is going to be. So recognize here, I have four p, right? That is in front of the coefficient of x minus h. Well, in this case, what is my 4p? My 4p is equal to negative 4. So guess what? If I want to be able to find p, all I'm still going to do is set this equation 4p is equal to negative 4 and then go ahead and solve. Okay, so here's kind of one of the confusing things or one of the most important things um, that you need to know about when you're graphing a parabola. p is everything. What P tells us is the distance from our vertex to our focus. Now, our focus is where our parabola is always going to open up to. So it's either open up, to the left, to the right, or down, right? So at this point, we have enough information to start graphing in our parabola. We have the vertex, so let's go ahead and do that. And now we have our value of P. So P tells us this orientation. Now remember, the Y is squared, right? So this is going to tell us that we know that it's either going to be an opening is left or right, right? So we're not going up or down for their value P. So we have a value of our X coordinate of our vertex is four. Now, when P is negative, what that's telling you is that's telling you the direction, okay? So the distance from our vertex to our focus is one, but in the negative direction. So therefore, if I'm at four, my focus here is going to be to the left, right? Because it's a one, but it's in the negative direction. So that is going to be my focus, that is going to be my vertex. Now that I have my vertex and my focus, I have all the information I need to draw a sketch of the graph, right? If we wanted to be more direct, we could find the lattice rectum to get a couple more points here. But now we have identified the focus, right? So once you find the value P, you can now identify what the um, focus is. And again, since we're going horizontally, I'm going to add the subtractive value of P to my H coordinate or my X coordinate on my vertex here in this case, which again, you can see four plus a negative one gives you a three. Okay, and now the next thing we're gonna do is be able to identify our directrix. So just important here to remember that the directrix is always going to be perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. Remember the axis symmetry, right, goes through your vertex here? Well, the directrix has the same distance from your vertex to your focus, but it's going to be perpendicular to your axis of symmetry. And again, so, so if we were going P negative this way, then what we're gonna do is going to subtract the P going to the other side. Now again though, this is a vertical line, so it's gonna be X is equal to and in this case, what we're going to have here is, again, our H, right? We're dealing with the horizontal left to right. So it's going to be H minus a P. Well, in this case, my P is a negative 1, right? So now I can go ahead and identify my directrix. And there you go. Now we found the most important parts of our parabola step by step, and we have a nice little graph to be able to show that. Now, this problem was rather easy because it was already in standard form. What would a step by step example look like if it was not in standard form, and maybe if the numbers weren't as nice as this example? If you're interested in that, that's coming up in the next video.